So what are we eating? Five years later. Wow, I was not expecting five years later. It's 1141. So, you have returned from Rome, Bishop Whaleran. Yes, it was a very illuminating time. What do you want? The Pope was very pleased to hear how I and you have worked together in the past to support our king. We did not do it for your church. He was less pleased, however, to hear about the bargain you struck with the Prior of Kingsbridge. Why should he care? Once and for all, we will not support you in your personal quarrels. The deal we made with the Priory of Kingsbridge has the blessing of the King. Of course, and you would never change your mind on that matter. Tell me, has your son returned from the Holy Land yet? We have not heard from him, ever since he set out to join that crusade of yours. If he dies, your church will be responsible. Do not underestimate your son, Lady Hamley. That would be a great mistake. I don't like the sound of that. Whoa, look at look at the look at the church. It's looking good. It's looking nice. What's that big giant gravestone there? Well, assuming it's a gravestone. It kind of looks like it is because it has dirt in front of it. Not long now and you'll have a ceiling. Wonderful. Then we will no longer have to hold our services in the crypt. You could even begin to plan the paintings for the wooden ceiling and the walls. Why a wooden ceiling? So the whole thing goes up in flames again? Philip decided on that because it's cheaper. And these walls can only hold the weight of a wooden ceiling. I love you like a brother, Alfred, but the apprentice shouldn't have to tell the master craftsman things like that. Jack, for once, focus on your work and finish it. Just for once. Or you'll stay an apprentice for the rest of your life. Don't argue again. Alfred is right. This is a house of God. <sighs> oh, Jack, right. that's me back in the background. Look, I'm older. Now, where were we? You could start planning the paintings for the ceiling, if you wish. Can we afford Barely. that at the moment? We are paying so many workers already. Father Philip. Tom Builder. Alfred. Ah, Aliena. How are you? I'll be moving my wool to Shiring today. The fleece fair starts tomorrow. Ah, I almost forgot. Milius and I have already arranged everything. We'd make much more of a profit if Percy Hamley had not raised the taxes this week. Again? <sighs> oh. Jonathan, you shouldn't wander off. Stay with us. Tom is right. You hear? He looks like a real monk. Omnius Pluvius, nominee Patri Amen. That sounds like Latin, but it's not quite right yet. We would not have to worry about this bait. if we could sell our wool here on our market. The king would have to grant us a license for that. And the Hamleys wouldn't like that, I'm afraid. They want the taxes from the fair in Shiring. Don't worry, we'll make a good profit. It's a good year. We've never moved this much wool as it is. Uh, oh, and I have to build a new storage house. Alfred is a master craftsman now. If you can pay him, he'll help you. Ah, oh, very good. Alfred? Is he still a jerk? If she hadn't a business of her own, I'd hire her to work for me. <laughs> she is something. She would make me a good wife. Hey! 
I don't like that thing above my head. Hey, take that back. <laughs> what? What did I say? For the last time, stop your quarreling. Philip, let's look at the plans again. There's a problem I have to discuss with you. All What's right. These? Take that back, Alfred. Jack, leave him alone. And for once, finish your work. And Jack, please keep an eye on Jonathan, will you? What? Why me? <laughs> finish your work, Jack. <laughs> That's how it always was. But on that day, I didn't care. I on didn't that care. day, I was going to see Aliena. And I was going to tell her how I felt. And oh, nothing no. and no one would stop me. I, that thing above your head might stop you. It's, uh, look, look at that thing up there. Look at that. That does not look safe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can't finish my work. Time to get this done. Oh, this is bad. How fast it's going. Nice. I guess we did For okay. some reason, I'm full of energy today. <laughs> but the face still isn't right. I can never get the face right. I'm done for now. I just can't stand looking at it anymore. Oh, damn. Watch your tongue. I will. Damn. Damn. I need to get much better at this. Darn it. Hey, little brother. <laughs> I hope you appreciate that I look out for you. I ate a beetle. <laughs> Don't tell Philip, all right? It's our secret. <laughs> Come on, let's have fun. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, I can. Come on, Philip said you can't. You have to work. I know what they said. I was there, you know. Ah, Philip and Tom won't mind if we take a break. Sometimes people say one thing and mean another thing. Either he's stopped listening, or he's thinking about it. Right, the wall is already coming apart, and Alfred wants to put a stone ceiling on top instead of a wooden one. <sighs> Idiot. Yeah, that doesn't... That doesn't look good. I better not get too close. Wasps, not bees, wasps. The tree of life. When I was small, I wanted something with animals. I tried to make it look like no other tree, more like a thought. I like it, but nobody recognizes that it's supposed to be a tree. Well, 
Tom says it's done. He won't let me do another one. Apparently I'm an artist. So I can't... I can't get him to, like, follow me, or will he follow me? Everything all right, Jonathan? No, he will not follow me. I can just go... <laughs> I guess he won't follow me. Well, well, we'll go to the market and see what happens. Oh wait, oh he's following me. Never mind. The cathedral. Jonathan, don't run off. Don't worry, he's here. Ah, great. Thank you, Martha. And no, I don't have time to watch him. Oh, damn. Darn. Oh, no. It's all broken. <laughs> the sounds of the market. Shouldn't you be working, Jack? Eh, maybe I should go before I buy anything. Watch where you go, will you? Now it's come to that. Even the monks step on my chickens. So, how's business? All well? More and more people keep coming here. Yesterday, there were two dozen merchants from Shiring alone. You exhausted? Pretty much. But the Priory made a lot of money. Seems the Earl just raised the taxes at his market, so they all came here instead. Now they've all returned to Shiring for the Fleece Fair. Is the Earl asking lower taxes at the Fleece Fair? On the contrary. From what the merchants told me, it's even worse. So they all have to trade their wool there, including Aliena and the Prior. But you need a license to do a Fleece Fair, and only Shiring has one. Are you not going to the Fleece Fair in Shiring? No, Philip asked me to supervise the market here. So now you're working with Philip and Aliena? I know, it's a lot of work. But we all want the same thing after all. And what's that? To keep this place in good shape. This is our home. Yeah, I guess. You should be working too. I'm just taking a break. Yeah, I'm just taking a freaking break. Did you Jeez. see Aliena? Hmm. Maybe she was heading home. I think she's expecting a visitor. A visitor? Do I hear jealousy in your voice? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Who's a what now? Do you want to buy some of this fine cloth, Jonathan? Great idea. I could make you a red robe. Or a blue one. No. <laughs> No, that would be silly now, wouldn't it? What is the colour that monks wear? Brown and black and grey. Boring. Aliena went home. Could be. I know she's expecting a visitor. All right. Maybe I should get going. Oh, before I forget, I have a message for you. Oh, really? What is it? <clears throat> Cub, we need to talk. I'll be at the small clearing near the river. I uh -oh. think Ellen wants to talk to you about Papa. What's there to talk about? Tom doesn't believe I can be a builder. That's not true. That's what she wants to talk about. Papa knows what you can do. He told her. Oh, did he? Yes. He's complicated. He is. On days like this, you can almost get lost here. Look at the map. Ooh. River. I'm gonna go to the river. Here's the marketplace. Kitchen. Okay. Mill. River. I'm gonna go to the river. I guess. The Hamleys would be breaking the agreement we had with King Stephen. All I know is that suddenly the quarry master wants us to pay for stone. And the verderer of Shoot Forest now insists we pay for timber. The Verderer and the Quarrymaster both claim that they act on orders from the Earl of Shiring. 
If our workers find out, they'll get nervous. And rightly so. Of course. This is a terrible problem. What are you doing out here? Did you finish your corbel? I'm done. Uh, why do I get the feeling that when I go and look at your corbel, it won't be finished? I'm doing my best, all right? If you would let me do more than just the statues. You need to focus on the task at hand. I can do much more than stone carving, and you know it. We can't always get what we want. Alfred can. Jack, please. We have much bigger problems to solve right now. The Earl of Shiring has stopped supporting us. If we don't do anything about it, we'll have to send the workers away. We have to stop building the cathedral. I will talk to Percy Hamley. And if he won't see me, I will talk to the King, or this will be the end of Kingsbridge. Can I help you? Yes, by doing as you're told. Do your job, and only your job. And leave Alfred alone. But I can assure you that we will be safe for the next few weeks. I've planned ahead for a case like this. You have? All right, I want to go to the river. <laughs> Which I guess is this way. Maybe I don't know. Go to the mill. All right, go to the mill. <clears throat> I double, I double clicked, but it didn't fast travel. Oh, here's the river. Oh, the mill is working. Another wasp nest. That's two wasp nests. Don't always run off, Jonathan, or I'll get in trouble with... Elena! Yes? Do you mind if we sit here? Uh, of course not. I guess I had to go this way. How are you two? Oh, um, well. I'm controlling two characters. Say, I, I wanted to uh, talk to you because... Uh, yes, Jack Builder? I... I like you. You are beautiful. <laughs> Why, thank you, Jonathan. Well... 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 Jonathan! He's here! I'm coming! Jack loves you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to ask if you think that Jonathan suspects anything. I swear on this very Bible that I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Cold, 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 cold. Oh, I lost my Bible. Shit. I'm sorry, but no bad deed goes unpunished. But we haven't done anything bad yet. You burned down the cathedral. Wait, how does she know that? Oh, okay. My lady. You dangerous feral beast from the woods. God hates me for that. He, he has a strange way of showing it. I'm confused. Okay. I'm less confused now. I... You remembered it. You sang it the first time when we sat here together. I don't... You were dangling your feet in the brook, lost in thought. Just like today. Why can't it always be like this, Jack? I know what you mean. I hate pretending that I don't love you. Uh, I just don't. Jack. 
I know. I know. <sighs> Have you heard from your brother? <sighs> the war never ends. And he always needs more money. And I pay him to fight for the man who killed our father. King Stephen. To get the earldom back from him. Mm, yes. But you know, I don't even want that. Everything I've built here. What we have. I have all that because I'm not my father's daughter anymore. I'm afraid that if Richard becomes Earl, I'll lose much more than the money he's wasting now. Hmm. Your father meant well. I'm sure he did. Did he? He never loved anyone. Not even my mother. It was not my fault we lost the earldom. It's not my responsibility. How could father make me swear that oath? Did you fight with Tom again? Tom always takes Alfred's side. Well, he is Alfred's father. He worries about him. It was the same with Richard. If Tom's worried about Alfred, then why is he always telling me off? Because you are the clever one. He probably worries about Alfred. Hey, it's not my dingus. fault that he's a, he's a bit... Slow in the head? Exactly. Tom thinks you should know better. Mm, maybe. Were you still reading the Bible? Oh, Philip insists. I better be angry that I lost it. Oh, don't worry. He'll still keep teaching you. I think he sees something in you. To say it fell in the river. Yeah, maybe I should become a monk. <laughs> oh, but... But you, you aren't allowed to kiss monks. I shall love you like a brother, then. <laughs> no, that's not funny. <laughs> Ain't that donuts? Say, what was that book called you told me about last time we met? The Amores by Ovid. I've only heard about it from a traveling scholar. Hmm, the title sounds promising. Yeah, but maybe it's not as interesting as we think. Let's find out. I'll ask around Kingsbridge and see what I can find. All right. You know, back in the forest, my mother made up the rules herself. But they all made sense somehow. Here, everything is... it's, it's complicated. Oh, I know. Rules everywhere. Why is it that Tom can't tell Philip that Jonathan is his son? He's so happy when he's around Jonathan. Tom's rules. And Philip's, probably. Tom believes he has lost the right to be Jonathan's father, as he gave up on him when he was born. That's what Martha said. And what about us? When will we tell other people about us? I guess when we're ready to play by their rules. Or they buy ours. I guess. It's like trading wool. Is it? Trading wool is a bit like what my father did. Talking to people, negotiating, trading. It's... <laughs> it's fun, actually. Talking to people is fun? You listen to what they have to say, what they have to offer what they're looking for. Then you come up with an offer where everyone profits, including you. I get it. We'll tell people about us when we come up with an offer that suits them and us. Right. Or they just figure it out. And you should try to remember why Tom and Philip keep nagging you. They want the best for you and for themselves. Which is you. If you say so. I know so. I want the same.
One day we'll tell everyone everything about us, Ali. All of them. Maybe not everything, Jack Builder. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Dang it, my stupid green screen. <laughs> what what's going on? We better go and find out. Yeah. Everyone, calm down. What happened at the quarry? Listen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes, there was an incident. Our friend Otto Blackface was hurt at the quarry. What happened? The Earl of Shiring had his men stop us from taking stone from the quarries and timber from the forest. Why? Why would Percy Hamley do that? All we know is what his men told us. That the Earl of Shiring will not support the construction of Kingsbridge Cathedral anymore. What are we going to do now? I will ride to Shiring myself and I will talk to Percy Hamley. Oh, that's all good and well. But how are we supposed to continue working without stone and timber? I want to be paid before you run out of money. I need to feed my family. Calm down. You heard the prior. He will talk to the Earl himself. And I've planned ahead for a day like this. You will be paid soon. And there will be plenty of work for at least another month. For all of you. I trust I Tom. I say we stay. And I trust our prior. I will prepare everything immediately. I'll be with you in a moment. What if the Earl won't listen to Philip? I need to talk to Philip. See me later at my house, all right? What about the book we wanted to look for? N not now. I, I think I can help here. I'll find the book. We will sort this out. And now... Back What's to work. She gonna say? This cathedral won't build itself. And you, Jack, watch Jonathan. Oh, what again? Sucked Alfred. <laughs> hey, take back what you said before. What? What did I say? Oh, come on. You, you know what you said. About Aliena? Why would you care if I take her as a wife? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Are you looking for someone? I'm supposed to bring this bread to our canter. He's spending the day up there on the roof of the cathedral. But how am I ever going to make it all the way up there? Ah, uh, afraid of heights, hmm? But do you want me to go? No, no. I'll make it. I just need time. Alfred doesn't get it. Oh, can I finish my work? Can I do more work? I can do more work. Let's see if I can do more work. I didn't think about doing more I will work. do everything in my power to make sure you are paid. I know that you showed us mercy before when we had to flee from Earl's Castle. Oh, my husband has worked here this. ever since. And we would like to be close to Our Lady Aliena. But we have no choice. Oh, Mary. The same goes for us, Mary. We all owe Philip much. I trust you, Father, but I risk my neck up there every day. My wife is right. If you can't pay, we'll have to move on. Kingsbridge is our home. I don't want to leave. Let me think of something. 
Maybe there's a way we can pay your workers early, Philip. But selling the wool at the fleece fair will take at least a couple of days. I'm sorry, but me and the other workers can't wait that long. Not now that everything is so unsure. Trust me, Philip. I'll think of something. I'm confused. Jack! I saw your corbel. You did good work, Jack. Uh, it's not half as good as it should be. Uh, don't get lost in the details. Yeah, it's my corbel. I want it to be perfect. None of this is ours. Doing the carvings is the only job you didn't give Alfred to screw up. We should be thankful of the work we're allowed to do. And in our work, we must be thorough and steadfast. Thankful for what we are allowed to do? You are the one who wouldn't settle for less than a cathedral. You could have had other work, but no. For months, you remained steadfast, no matter the cost. When are you going to tell Jonathan about what happened in the forest? Whoa. That's rough, uh, man. Shouldn't have said that about Jonathan. Damn it. Yeah, you shouldn't have said that about Jonathan. I need to go see my mother. Who's, oops, who's by the river. Where, 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 how do I get there? How do, how do, how do I get there? How do I get to the river, the, the river where I'm supposed to meet her at? I'm confused now. Make him find my Bible. I don't see the Bible. Even if I could find it, I doubt it would still be legible. <sighs> Let's go to the bridge. Okay, path of the mill. Can't go. Oh, wait, river. here this way no, we cannot we can't we don't seem to be able to go further this way I was thought supposed to talk to my mother but I can't figure out how I'm talking to talk to my mother let's talk to them I guess brother Paul and that is little Jack. You see, he never paid the bridge toll when he came here. Sometimes you must show clemency and let those in need pass into our town without asking for coin. I'll remember your words, Brother Paul. All right. He's teaching the novice about the bridge and the toll. I better not disturb them. I don't know where to go to get to the river. How do I see the map, by the way? How do I look at my... I, I pulled it up at one point, but now I don't know. Oh, here. Look here. So, I want to go... here. But I can't figure out how. Oh, clearing! This... Oh, it's over here. Oh, well, there you go. There we go. That's 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 why I, me I messed it up. Jack Squarry. Looks nice. Ah, there you are, Cub. I wanted to talk to you. What is it? I'm afraid there's a lot of trouble ahead of us. From what I heard from Tom, oh, no. they're trying to shut down the construction. They? The Earl of Shiring. Tom is under a lot of stress. If it weren't for him, it would already be over. Why are you telling me this? Did he say something about me? No. But I know that he just can't stand to see you and Alfred arguing. Just don't see why Alfred gets to do everything he wants. Alfred is a master builder. You are an apprentice. There are rules. They may not be my rules, but they are yours. 
if you want to become a master builder. Mm, maybe. Don't be angry, Cub. I'm not. As much as I'd like to, I did promise Tom I'd only do my own carvings in the evenings. Oh, that's where I practice. I practice and practice. All right, well, I did that. Now what do I do? Oh, I'm supposed to find out about a book. Okay. Where would I, where would I go for a book? A library or something. Now let's look at the map again. Is there a library or? Place where books would be. Maybe the house of the prior or the guest house or the chapter house. Maybe. Let's go to monastery. Okay. Oh, here we go. Kitchen. Oyster. Alright, here we go. Let's go into the kitchen. Hello, Milius. Jack. A and Jonathan. This is not the best of times. Brother Cuthbert could have been a little more careful in storing the apples down here. I'm sure it's fine, Brother Andrew. I am not so sure. Even the salt is damp. Cuthbert knew what he was doing. What is Brother Andrew up to? We will get a new cellar as soon. Andrew is preparing everything. Oh, did he die? Maybe they should get a new kitchener as well. Why? If what Cuthbert did was not good enough, then what I can do can't be much better. Cuthbert knew so much more than I did. Oh, One. Man. Two. I am looking for a book. The kitchen is not the best place to start looking for a book. You should try the scriptorium instead. But you need to get past Remigius to get into the yeah. prior's house. Okay. At least I know now. Keep the skate locked now. Can't get in there. It's blocked. I have to go in through the front. I mean, it looks very similar to how it looked before. Just trying to rebuild it, guess. Oh, yep. Yeah. Get up! The mortar won't mix itself. <laughs> the mortar won't complain if it has to wait until I'm done with me break. What's he doing down there? Well, the mortar There's won't, another but I will. Nest. I think I think there might be a task oh, of yes. getting rid of wasps at some point. Did I complain when? Scriptorium. You drunk bastard! You pushy fat oaf! Don't be distracted by what is going on outside. No surprise, no, 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 no. The two have been quarreling the whole morning. I wonder what their problem is. 
What are you doing in the scriptorium? I wanted to have a look at your books. Is that so? Everyone, listen up. It's the work of a scribe not to copy texts and scripture. It is Supreme Remigius. Yes, Supreme Remigius. Mm -hmm. Yes, Supreme Remigius. And is it not the task of illuminators to illuminate these texts with pictures and color? It is Supreme Remigius. Yes, yes Supreme Remigius. And what do you think is the work of Jack, the apprentice of Tom Builder? Build? Working on the construction He's site. Carving statues and uh, ornaments. Building things. Thing. I'm not exactly sure what it is either. But it is not distracting our scribes and illuminators. I do not know what Prior Philip sees in you, Jack. Now, go back to your work and do not disturb us again. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay. He's a jerk. You shut up. And you, don't be distracted. No, 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 Everybody's a jerk, yeah, that's but none me. of your business. Now get to work. What's the problem? I'm taking me well-deserved break. Well-deserved? You deserve a good kick in, you lazy drunk. Better a drunk than a bearded bastard. Come on, then. Kick me. Show me what you got. Please, this is leading nowhere. Think for a moment what other people would do. What? Who? The sub -prior. Oh, don't get me started on sub prior images. He is a hard working man. He is. And don't you doubt it. What? That he is a hard working man. Who? Sub prior images. You fool! <gasps> what? How dare they? How dare you? Shouting in the cemetery like heathens! But we... I... Silence! Do you have any idea how hard the work of a sub prior is? How much devotion and painful work it takes to teach our novices, hey. our monks? And you dare call me a fool? We didn't! Silence, I say! I will think of a way to make you two understand the kind of behavior I expect in this priory. I think they'll be busy for a while. We place our trust in you. Ah, and take you in. It worked. I was not expecting that to work so well, and yet it did. There are many I've not read. Most of them, actually. If only I had more time to read. Oh, let's do this. Use that. Mm. No, it's not here. Maybe the monks know where I can find the book. I'm looking for a book by Ovid. Oh, we saw some in Shiring and in Winchester. There are also a few copies in Salisbury, I believe. Which ones are you looking for? The Amores? Have you heard of that? Uh, that was one of the copies in Winchester, I think. Did you read it? Me? 
I... I, I don't remember. He did. Just a page or two. Sounds like the right book. And Winchester's not far. I should tell Ali what I found out. What is it that you're working on? I'm copying pages of the book Prior Philip wrote. We finished the original last year. I didn't know he wrote a book. Not many know of it. The content is... He's critical of the church and bishops. After his experience with Bishop Waleran, he studied about what he calls Eudicia Clary. Eudicia Clary? The judgments of the clergy? Yes. In the past, there were many cruel tests that were made to discover whether a man was guilty or not. The Lord was to judge them. These ordeals were called Eudicium Dei, the judgment of God. Some had to hold burning iron in their bare hands. Others were drowned. Some were burned on the pyre. And if they were innocent, God would save them. There would be no martyrs if that were true. Even Adolphus would have been saved. Yes. God works in mysterious ways. The prior wants these horrible ordeals to become a thing of the past. For cruelty only leads to more cruelty. But... I heard of miracles. Saints that survived burnings. True. However, Prior Philip believes these were not judgments of God, but judgments of the clergy. You did she a clary? Yes! Stories and fake ordeals to redeem friends and allies of the clergy. Fake miracles? By the church? Whoa! That sounds like Philip is asking for trouble. Whoever is accused of fakery and heresy will not be likely to respond well to that. But we believe Philip is right. This is the second millennium. We must finally learn from past mistakes. Yeah, all right. I mean, basically they summed it up for me, so I don't really feel like I have to uh, read it. All right. I guess we'll talk to him now. Maybe. I don't know. What's our next step? Prior Philip is too forgiving. The sub prior has Hello, to handle Cuthbert. everything he neglects. I hope you're happy wherever you are. What do you mean, wherever he is? He's lying right there. I made sure his wait for Judgment Day is comfortable. Philip thinks we might uh, go to heaven when we die. No. We lie in wait till Judgment Day. That's why I want someone good to bury me, to make sure I lie well. I hope you will remember your promise that you will bury me. That was that was a long time ago. <laughs> My first night in the Priory. I'll bury you, Brother Arnaldus. Don't worry. Thank you. And thank you for looking after Cuthbert. Everything. He died in the first weeks of 1141. It had been a harsh winter. He had complained that he had trouble breathing and was suffering from a pain in his chest. He instructed... Milius to find him an herb called Mary's Tear. The tea was made for the from the herb seemed to help for a few hours, but the same night Cuthbert's fever got worse and his breathing shallow. Okay. He didn't wake up. He died. He was sixty-eight years old. That seems pretty old for this time. I, I'm prior. I have you even know. more responsibilities than the prior himself. And more worries. I better not get too close. What's with the wasps? What's with all the wasp nests? Tell her about the book. Okay. I just don't see how you can possibly regain our trust. Now where'd she go? 
Oh, can we go back to the mill now? Maybe? Is she here? She's not. Where is she? How do I tell her about a book when I don't know where she is? Is her is 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 there a map to her house? No. Oh, here's her house up here. Okay. I guess I should go to her house. She was just she just happened to be here last time. Okay. I'm gonna go over. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Her house right there. Bam. Oh, that's a nice look at. She's got the best house. Come on, Jonathan. Let's tell Allie what I found out. Hey, Brave Star. It's going good. Whoa, look at that cat. Ranulph of Chester and his half-brother stole Lincoln Castle from Stephen. At least this is a chance for us to take it back. For us? Who is us? The whole of England is strangled by new taxes and torn apart by this senseless quarrelling. Senseless quarrelling? You still think I'm just playing around? No. I put my life at risk, Ali, for you and me. This isn't a game. I, I know that. Do you? It's an honor to be one of the King's Knights. An honor that costs a lot of money. Oh, now you broke it, Jonathan. There's someone at the door. I'll be right back. Oh. Go play. Jack. Hey. So? Yes. What brings you here? I... Do you have a, a visitor? Are you jealous? Everything all right there? Uh, yes, it will just take a minute. Sorry, my brother is waiting. He has to ride back to Shiring soon. Ah, I see. All right. I just wanted to tell you that I found out about the book. What book? Oh, Ovid. You were still looking for that. Of course. Why wouldn't I? I don't know. I... It just feels like there are so many problems right now at the construction site. That reminds me. Could you tell Philip that I've come up with an idea how he can pay the workers? Oh. Uh, how? I'll buy up all of his wool and sell it on the fleece fair myself. But I need to go to Shiring first and get the money. Uh, all right. Um, I'll tell him. By the way, they have a copy of the Amores in Winchester. Oh? I think I know someone who might be able to get it. But first, we need to make sure Philip gets his money and talks to Percy. Who? Percy Hamley, the Earl. Percy Hamley, the fat oaf. Congratulations. Everybody heard you. So what? They're all bastards. Bastards. I think I should be going. They're all bastards. Oh, all right. See you later, Jack. Jack's not a spy. Of course. Not really. Bastards. You're gonna have to forget that word really quick, little brother. Bastards. So for them, you've got money, Ali. So you were eavesdropping on me. Great. That deal with Philip will help them and us, Richard. Robert of Gloucester is advancing on Lincoln as we speak. 
Tomorrow we will ride from Shiring. And what I need from you is money for a new sword and a gambeson. And I want my shield painted in Stephen's colours. Is this leading anywhere, Richard? You've been doing this for years now, and has the King ever considered making you Earl of Shiring? Not yet. But I fought side by side with him before. He knows my name, Ali. Oh. Oh, all right. I will meet you in Shiring, and I'll bring the money. Man, that's rough. Talk to Philip. Wait. Oh yeah, Philip. I forgot who Philip was for a second. Father Philip. Yes? Aliena says you can pay your workers. She has enough money to buy up all the Priory's wool and sell it in Shiring. And that way, you get your money earlier. Really? But you have to accompany her to Shiring. She has to fetch the money first. The sooner the better. I have to talk to Percy Hamley anyway. Thank you, Jack. It's not gonna go well. Now you better get back to work. Tom wanted to talk to you. Oh. It's not gonna go well. Especially if she's there. Oh. Where's uh, Tom? If I talk to Tom now, he'll insist I stay at the construction site and work. Am I really done out here? I think so. I don't know what else I can do. Jack! What? <sighs> Come here, please. You wanted to finish your call bell, and I let you. Subprior me just told me you disturbed the monks in the scriptorium. Philip told me to practice reading. The Bible, not the kind of book you were looking for. Then you go and waste your time in the cemetery and the market, and in the kitchen. I needed time to think. You should have been working instead. Don't you know how close we are to shutting down the construction? If I'd not planned ahead, it would all be over now. But how am I to plan ahead if I can't rely on you, Jack? What? Watch out! Whoa. <sighs> Are you all right? Yes. Up here! Hey, hurry up, quick! <sighs> What's going on here? Your son thinks I dropped the stones. You were the one who pulled them up, weren't you? Of course. I said that is that my was job. Dangerous. He was probably angry because he might not get paid. Alfred, stop it. What? Peter, what happened? I I'm not sure, but there was a monk. He was wearing a black robe, and when he saw me looking at him, he ran away. Maybe it was him. A black robe? Are you saying this was my fault? No, no. I I'm sure I didn't recognize him. He wasn't from here. No. Peter dropped the stone and doesn't want to admit it. I assure you, a monk would never do such a thing. I saw a monk in black in the market. Oh, did you? I was there too when you were. Tell us, what did he do when you saw him? Uh, he almost stepped on a few chickens. Wait, Jack is right. I remember now. There was a monk there, and he went into the cathedral. I'll go up front and look for him. You check the back. All right. <laughs> and was like, eh, I'm gonna remember that. And I'm like, hey, he did this. He's like, oh, I remember that. No, oh, yeah. I'm smart. Oh, there he is! There he is! Let's get him! Oh, there he goes! Where'd he go? Where did he go? He went this way. He went down here. I saw him go down here. 
I don't know where. I guess the mill. Uh, I don't see the monk by the mill. I bet he went to the bridge. No, I didn't see him go to the bridge, though. Oh, there he is. Well, that's suspicious. Hey, you! Hey! What happened to you, monk? Mother! Jack? He's not a monk! He tried to kill me! You did what? Please, I... I know you. You are with them. Did they send you? Please, let me go! What did they send you for? Tom Builder. I was sent here to kill Tom Builder. Tom? What is going on here? Take heed. I know you. I know your face. Tell them that you succeeded. Tell them that Tom Builder is dead. But... Tell them, or I will find you. Hurst. Yes. Speak up, or I'll put a curse on you. I will tell them what you ask. Please. What the hell? What was that? Why did you let him go? He was after Tom. After all these years, it's happening again. What is? Just... Tell Tom to stay low. If we're lucky, they'll think he's dead. Why don't you tell him? I'm the reason they're trying to kill him. It's my fault. Secrets. What? We should never have come to Kingsbridge, Jack. Do we have, do we have the, do, are you gonna dish out the secrets? Philip, regarding your question concerning your brother Francis, I regret to tell you that he has not been seen in our diocese for over five years. I believe this is due to his work. Robert of Gloucester. After making an inquiry at Earl Robert's court, I found that his scribes were sworn to secrecy and could not answer our request. These times of war are times of secrecy. I have faith that your brother Francis is well and working hard to support Earl Robert in his quest. I pray that his fight for the throne in the name of his sister Maud will be this is spelled wrong. There's no E in it any other time. Will be fruitful and bring an end to the to the anarchy. We are all aware of the wonderful work you are doing in Kingsbridge. Your Saint Adolphus is well known even in the Holy Roman Empire now. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Excuse me, Philip? Philip? Hmm? I I'm sorry. Is everything all right? I was just thinking about my brother. Uh, what is it? Aliena is ready to go to Shiring with you. Then I must not keep her waiting. I don't know the state of VR headsets, honestly. Um, like there's only, there's only like, how many, how many, I don't even know what's out there. Does HTC still have a headset? Because I like the one I've got, even though it's like old gen stuff. Man, I thought this would be a new chapter. As we rode, Aliena expressed relief that Percy Hamley held court in Shiring Town during the Fleece Fair, and not in her father's castle. I had not yet confessed to Aliena that I blamed myself for her father's fate. I felt the guilt and shame starting to rise when we came to a large group of peasants looking as desperate as the refugees that had come from Earl's Castle back then. Philip stopped to talk to the peasants, and so did I. Of course he couldn't pass by people in need of help. Not even when he was on his way to try and save Kingsbridge from another attack by the Hamleys. Two of the peasants broke into tears and begged for food. 
Philip was mortified as they grabbed the hem of his robe anyway. and pleaded for mercy. <clears throat> the problem with any Apple product is it only works with Apple stuff. So... They said they were from Wigley. They had illegally erected a mill and hadn't paid taxes to the Earl of Shiring for grinding flour. I bit my lip when they mentioned the title that used to belong to my father. As punishment, the Earl had destroyed their mill. Philip seemed unsure what to say about Percy Hamley's punishment for these peasants. I was less hesitant. I asked why they'd built an illegal mill. The peasants told us that milling taxes had doubled in their village. The peasants shouted and cried that the Earl had also burnt their fields, destroyed their houses, and taken their livestock from them. A few of them had even been killed. Philip told them to go to Kingsbridge for food. As we rode on, he said nothing. Maybe he had begun to lose hope that he would ever solve his problems with the Earl in Shiring. I mean, he's a dick. I had never trusted the Hamleys, but it seemed I had grown careless over the years. They had thus far kept their word to King Stephen, but now I felt I should have known that they would eventually break it. As I was thinking these grim thoughts, we passed by a gallows with two men dangling by their necks. An old woman stood by one of the corpses and snarled at us. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna talk to her. Aliena rode by my side without knowing that I had long been responsible for her family's fate. Ever since I had made the mistake of trusting Waleran by God. I felt like a fly in a cobweb. Every move I made seemed to lead to further calamities. But then I heard Aliena as she sped past me. Shiring. She exclaimed. We're there. End of chapter. All right, what do we do? Richard is trying to reclaim the earldom for himself. He visited Colthberth and old brother. Arendos, that you will bury him. You caught the assassin. Ellen forced him to report that Tom is dead, and I did my best. All right.